Hi everybody, I'm Al and today I'll be showing you how to remove an EGW Ambi safety from your 1911. A lot of customers call in and ask for help or tips when it comes to removing the Ambi safety because it's a sleeve design so it's very strong and sometimes it's a little bit difficult to remove but hopefully after today's video you'll be able to easily remove the thumb safety after watching this. So take your gun and you'll want to get the safety not up, not down, but in a happy middle position. And I like to use the 10-8 Armors tool that comes with the Ambi in the packaging. And I start by trying to wedge it in between the plunger tube and the arm on the safety here in a twisting motion. Not really a prying, but more of a twisting motion. It'll help start loosening things up. You can also wiggle the safety up and down a little bit as you're prying to help remove it. I also have a small lip on the back of the frame here in between the safety and the frame. So as I'm wiggling it and pulling up with my hand, I'll try to get the armor's tool in there and I'll slide it up. Now, once you get it moved up a little bit, you can get the armor's tool in there and twist and pry it the rest of the way out. Remember, you have a plunger tube spring and you have the little detents in here, so if you don't have your hand covering it, they're gonna go shooting across the room and you'll have to get some replacements, which is not a problem. Call EGW215-538-1012 or go to egwguns.com and you can buy pins before you do the job. You can get an EGW pin set. We have them both in blue and Ooh. stainless. Ooh. And we also have replacement pin parts for the Ambi, so if you somehow ruin a sleeve or you lose it or you lose one of the pins with the kits, you can go on our website or give us a call and we can hook you up ooh, with a new set of ooh. pins. So now that I know that this is gonna be able to remove, be removed, I'm making sure that the detent doesn't go shooting across the room and I'm prying up on the safety until it pops out. And just so I don't lose it right now, I'm removing the pin. And now you can remove the right side of the safety. To reinstall it, just do everything in reverse. I wanna take a moment to talk about the pin. We have a sear pin that comes with the EGW Ambi and it's flat right here. So a lot of pins have a radius, like the end of this guy where they stick up. Ours is flattened so it doesn't get caught on anything. And we also have a hammer pin which goes inside of the safety there. So the safety catches on the hammer pin and also works as a downstop. So when you turn your safety, turn it off, turn it on, it works as a downstop and it catches. So make sure that the safety is all the way up when you install it so it catches in that hammer pin. So go ahead, go ahead and stick it in your frame until it catches. And then flip your gun upside down. If you remove the pin, go ahead and pop that back in. And now you can install this side of the safety. So take the right side and kind of get that in the middle position. So after you kind of get it lined up, keep a lot of pressure there, push the detent in and you can work the safety until you kind of feel it go together. And then it'll snap in place. And you are rock solid, my friend. So that is how you remove and reinstall the EGW Ambi Safety. What I didn't mention in the beginning of the video is that this is not a drop-in part, just like any of the other safeties that we sell. You'll have to have it fit by a gunsmith to have it fit and install into your frame properly. But after it's in there, that's how you remove it and how you pop it back in and you're good to go. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Zach will add some links to the Ambi, the replacement pins and stuff to it in the links too. And so thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe, like our videos and comment below.